Welcome back, everybody, to Estelle resting. Oh, she's resting in the room, and I can't go in there because of reasons. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, guess I'll call it a day. All right, everyone, the next exciting episode, we will be on a new day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am seriously kidding. Gosh dang it. Okay. Five second episode inserted here. Three, two, one, go. I can't move anywhere. Oh, no. Well, anyway, I guess I'll start by talking to these people because I haven't talked to them yet, so what the heck. You know the q Brigade is made of up of arrogant knights of noble class? But these nobles are a far cry from the royal class. Is that so? Aren't you part of the q Brigade, though? We knights usually have severe training from morning to night. What's worse, we always have to be on the scene first if there's a situation. Oh my gosh, situations are terrible. I think I was going to do something here, but I didn't do stuff for whatever reason. I kind of forget why. Why did I not do that? I don't remember. Did I even show this to the Moon Selector? I think I probably did, but anyway. Mm. Oh my gosh, things. Things that I can't even make because of reasons. Kind of unfortunate. Oh! I think the reason I wasn't making any of this stuff wasn't necessarily because, oh, I wanted to show it on screen. I think it's because I don't have anyone in my party right now, so therefore it's like, I can't tell what needs to be made and what doesn't need to be made. Oh well, I'll worry about that later, I guess. In that case, that's too bad. The Inn, the Battle Goose. Whatever you call it. Welcome, would you like to stay for 350 gold? I didn't have any money. What if I didn't? Hey, I thought you went to see Esteles. She seems to be asleep already. We can still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms, then? Great idea, Carol! Do -do -do. But when I went upstairs, I only saw one room. So what does that mean? What's the matter, Repeat? Well, Repeat, I think you meant to say dot 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 first of all, and second of all, Yuri, I think that's what's the matter. Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Okay, Frederick. Hey, hold your horses. I can't! Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. Flynn, do you know about it? We are with Carol, Rita, and Repeat. All right, it's time for the interrogation. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. Forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. <clears throat> and two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work. Ah, they'll be fine. Who's, gonna, who's going to attack the capital this time anyway? We're making it sound like, oh, the capital's gonna be under attack or something. Like that. No. That's most likely not gonna be the case at all. But anyway, though, we're gonna switch some party members up because we don't have Estelle right here, so there we go. We'll put Carol in the party as the fourth slot member. And that should be okay. Now, can we go talk to Estelle? Is she awake? Estelle, what's up? How you doing? You're not in here. Oh, no. I thought you were going to be in here. I mean, I'm not going to lie, this is kind of neat in a way, just... I don't know, it looks neat, but... At the same time, though, what if there's like a bunch of bugs outside? It's like, I want to close the... The outdoors. Close it off, that way I can't do anything. I thought there was something over there, but that's just a wall. I was like, hmm, this looks weird. It's really weird. I want to get Estelle back in the party too, though. I can't just look at my items now. Wouldn't be good timing. Where am I going? Am I going over here? Probably not. Didn't think so. Let's not go too far. There's still the Blastia. Yeah. There's always the Blastia, of course. I guess we should go see it. What's up, Blastia? How you doing? Rita, please wait. Estelle! After all... I've heard that the Imperial Knights have made some repairs on the Blastia here. Give the Knights some credit for once, will you? Please, Rita. All right, then. It's okay for you to be wandering around like this? Yes. 
But can I stay with you until it's time to return to Zavius? I don't mind at all. Estelle joined the party! Until it's time to return to Zophius, of course. Alright, alright. Time to get her back in there. There we go. The hunting blades and the monster. What do you think that scary monster we saw in Kerr Bakram was? That beast was way tougher than anything I've ever seen before. If it didn't run away when it did, we'd have been in a world of hurt. That's a surprisingly cautious opinion coming from you. Not that I disagree when it comes to a monster like that. Do you think it was the Hunting Blades who trapped it in a reverse barrier? Yeah, probably. It looked like they came to take that monster down. And whatever the case, I don't want to meet up with a monster like that again. Well, it's too bad, Yuri. It's too bad. Because we know we're gonna run into so many more monsters. For one reason or another, it'll be fun. I think it'll be great. What is over here? Nothing? Of course there's nothing over here. Why would there be anything over here? That would be nuts so. <coughs> Alright. Now that everyone's back in the party, now I'm actually gonna buy some things, because we gotta buy some things. I need to buy some things, but I didn't know what to buy exactly. I was confused. Okay, so I bought all of these already, I guess. Apparently. Well, except for that. I didn't buy that. I bought this though. I bought that. <sighs> Wait, no I didn't. I didn't buy that. I already had one of those. I think I bought that, though. You know what? I don't even know what I bought anymore. I bought some things, though. That's all I can really say, is I just bought some things. It's freaking fantastic, I'd have to say. Alright, alright. I guess I don't really know what I want to do. So, this would be a thing I could do. But... Oh. Okay, so this kind of proves that I do, I already have Kotaro done. So I need to buy the Kotaro plus one, and I'll get my EXP share and rise attack. I mean, who doesn't want that? I want that. All right, Kotaro, your butt. Mmm. -hmm. Tamahagane. Okay, well, I need the plus one variation for that. Oh, no, it's a choose your own path sort of thing. Oh my gosh, they're both exactly the same, but they have different skills on them. Why? Huh, I don't know which one to go for, actually. Strength Taunt Life Healer. Spirits Taunt 2 Spirit Healer. Hmm. Well, recover the HP after battle. Here's a big attack. Well, see, I think that might be a better one to go for. So I already got these maxed out, so I guess I might as well go for that one. I mean, I could try to go for this one too, but I don't think it's necessarily needed. Not as important. <coughs> Everything's important after a little while, of course. It is. So you're all maxed out. Uh, I already got that. Don't need that. Let's see, what else can I make? A sash plus one. I don't really want to do that, but... Wait, sash was the thing that I got before material info. Yeah. Okay, I can basically just do that to see if I already learned the skills on that. That's good to know. I guess I'll go ahead and give her that. Might as well. Sometimes things could be pretty useful, I would say. I already got an ogre axe. I don't need that. Gladius plus one. I have not learned everything on the Gladius, however, so I should not do that, even though item throw or stun magic and auto medicine would probably be good. Occasionally cast healing spells upon receiving damage. See? Now that's pretty good. That sounds OP. I want that. Alright, so replica of an ancient. Don't I already have one of these? Yeah, I do. Alright, so I think the interesting thing would be to go for these things now, if I can. Sylvikian water, Sylvikian fish. Hmm. Hmm, ooh, I will have enough to make both of these, actually. So that'd be nice. Okay, a metal-coated shield capable of stopping strong and large swing attacks. Guard impact, guard plus two, any XP share. Hmm, I can't make that, though! Why not? I'm missing... I'm missing Philofolia Leafs. Can you increase the XP earned? LP earned? They can increase the amount of gold after battle? Aw. Alright, I'm gonna make both of these. There we go. Okay, Stell, now you can finally do things really well. And I'm going to equip it to 
Right this moment, where are you? Oh my gosh, there you are. Equipment's there. That is there, and, hmm, things. Cool, I'm gonna do... Is that a lower magic attack, though? That's not what I meant to do. ID? Yeah, I want ID. Okay, so, details. Oh. So this one has zero magic attack. I see now, okay. While the current one has 25. I mean, which one do I want to go for, exactly? I think I want to go for... I mean, more defenses or more magic attack? That is the question. I'm gonna go for this one first, though. Heck with that. Alright. We're good. We are officially good. Let's get out of here. While we still can. I want to leave this place. I want to go out the front door, in fact. Or the side door. They both work, I think. Or maybe they don't. Time to leave. Time to leave. I'm going to leave right now. Let's not go too far. There's still the blast. But we already looked at the blast here, though. The heck are we talking about? I think we're misleading everyone now. Are we going here? Or are we actually looking at the blasty again? I'm confused now. Flynn! The barrier blasty has been making some odd noises. You think it's okay? You came all the way here because you were worried about that? As always, Yuri, you can't leave well enough alone if you see anything amiss. Hey, it's not me. She was the one that... It's obvious that something's not right with that Blastia. Let me have a look at it. This Blastia is currently in a state of repair. I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to examine it. Why? Why? What was that vibration? Don't tell me that was the Blastia. <laughs> it probably was, and Rita just went off to run for it. Maybe something's happened to the Blastia. Let's get out of here. Your Highness, you must stay here. Bum bum ba da ba da ba bum 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 bum. All right, let's go. Let's go examine some things. Are we under attack? Perhaps. Maybe that's what's really going on. Nah, it's just exploding. Let me go. I can't just leave him like this. The air is just pouring out of this thing. At this density, it might kill someone. And what about you? Well. It looks like it's gonna kill both of us. It's always a good idea. Damn it! That girl's blast you crazy. It's okay. I'll just readjust the volume of air. You'll be just like me. What? Can like anybody just do that if they really wanted to? It's too dangerous. You've got to get out of here. Leave the civilians out of the city as well as the princess and the others. Yes, sir. She's being a risk taker, of course. Rita, I'm here. Estelis. Commandant. There, got it. Whoa! It exploded. Okay, well that's kind of bad. That is not going to end well. Dot dot dot. I'm not hanging on. Please get a room ready for Rita. Do you even hear what you're saying? You're just as worn out as she is. Prepare rooms at once. I'll take her there myself. Carol, can you stand? Yeah. Come on, we're going to. What was that about, Schwan? Why are you there? He's all like, yeah, I'm here. What's up? C come in. You can't keep using your healing arts on her forever, Esteles. 
You also can't charge it up forever either. I mean, you could if you really wanted to, but what effectiveness is that going to have? It doesn't work like that, you know? Come on, let's let her rest for now. Yes. I can't believe she had to go and do something like that. Yes. Once Rita chooses to do something, she won't listen to anyone else. You're one to talk. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay here. You should go rest. Aren't you tired from using your healing art so much? I'm jealous of Rita. She has something she cares about so much. And so can you, if you spend enough time looking for it. But you need to go and get some sleep now. No, I'm fine. Yuri, you should get some sleep yourself. Flynn will get mad at me if you pass out. So let him get mad at you. That's mean, Estelle. That is just mean. Let him get mad at you. Don't come asking me to take your place when you collapse from exhaustion. I can't ask you to take my place if I've already collapsed, can I? I mean, she does make a good point anyway. <laughs> Party with everyone again. Gosh. Actually, I should go see how Carol's doing. All right, all right. Da 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 da. Going to go see how Carol's doing. What's up, Carol? How's it going? Wait, you're not Carol. The heck? First, I placed. I was placing a brigade, not my choosing. Then the blast, you failed. Just my luck. Dot 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 dot. We still got him to worry about. Let's just stop him and rest here today. Okay. I'll do that. You was paid for by nights. Enjoy your stay. Well, all right. Anyway, enough about that. Let's just go talk to Carol already. Wasting time, wasting time. You must think I'm totally useless. After what happened when you first met me, and at Care Bakram, and today. I think everyone freaked out today. Even the Great Commandant was pretty in over his head. There are lots of things even grown-ups can't do. Even you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's a tough world. Now you got the idea. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Do you think you'd want to maybe start a guild with me? A guild, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. I'll think about it. R really? What, you're surprised? I thought you'd say, no way! I've been in enough messes already! Or something. Not all adults think like that, you know. Anyway, it's late. Let's get some rest and see how she's doing in the morning. And then she passed out from exhaustion, and she was never heard from again. Aw, oh, man, I swear. Come in. Oh, look who's out cold now. <laughs> Glad to see you're awake. And after I told her over and over to call me before she collapses. Yeah, that's another thing I just realized. Because this is a big open air room like this, like what if it was windy outside and the wind was blowing towards your room? And it's raining like it is right now. It's like, there's gonna be rain flying right into that room. It's like, there's no getting around that. It's a terribly designed room. It looks cool when it's the weather's cooperating, but I mean like, if the weather's not cooperating, it could be a terrible room to be in. You didn't think she'd really listen to you, did you? <sighs> she looks happy. Hey, so... What do you think Estelise thinks of me? Why are you making that face? It's like, what kind of question is that? I just didn't think you were the kind of person who cared what other people thought. Forget it. You can go now. Compared to those formulas of yours, she should be easy to figure out. Rita, you're awake. But be careful. It's just when you think you've recovered that you're in the most danger. It's all right. I'm fine. Also, you don't need to pretend to be using that Blastia anymore. I... What do you mean? It's pretty cool that you can use healing arts without a Blastia. It's crazy! But... But how did you... Oh, hi there. Hey, it's that dragon freak! 
I'm just gonna pay you a visit for no reason. I like how she was restraining Rita right there. It's like, no, nope, don't do it. Don't even think about it. Rita, are you all right? Don't you ever learn? It sounds like the sky is falling in here. What's going on? Huh? I think that was a little bit of a delayed reaction there, Carol. What was that thing? What do you mean, what Just was that thing? You've seen it before. Was getting interesting. That's enough talk about Estelle's healing arts for now. Fine by me. I pretty much figured it out anyway. Don't look at me like that. Do I really look like that much of a bad guy to you? Yes. <laughs> hey, wait! What's going on, you guys? Come on, tell me! No, I'm not going to tell you. I refuse to do that. You're not allowed to know anything, Carol! Ah! Well, take care on the way back to the capital. Okay. And do you have everything? Wouldn't want to have to come back later. If I forget anything, you'll bring it to me. Won't you, Yuri? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, let's go find Flynn. I'll take you that far. Uh, um... What are you all gonna do after this? Hmm. Well, we did lose track of the Blood Alliance. That's easy! We can just go to Dongrest! Or not. Man, if I go back there now, they'll all just laugh at me. Dongrest? That's the Guild City, right? Yeah. I thought we could find out about the Blood Alliance there. What direction is it from here? Well, it's to the west, I guess, but... Let's check it out then. Might be helpful for anybody thinking you're starting a guild, too. Huh? For starting a guild? Well, let's go then! <laughs> I like how they don't even question it. It's like, what are you talking about? Starting a guild? What? Huh? I mean, that wasn't even brought up with them before. Reunite with Carol, Rita, and Rapide. What about, what about Estelle? We technically reunite with her, too, even if it's only temporary. Oh, man. Now that's just wrong. Come on, you can let us reunite with everyone. It doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be alright? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then. Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations, and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider that connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? Yeah, Rita, what do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um... Then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Heck yeah, Your agreement! Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. Oh, 
Well, Flynn is just a psychic. It's the Forest of Cave Walk by way of Dawngrest. Oh, yeah. Dawngrest, here we come. I have a job for you. Oh, yeah. Is that so? Okay. Estelle... <coughs> Estelle joined the party. All right, Alexei! I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk myself. Had you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the nights for any time at all, really. What sort of person is he, I wonder? He can be very formal at times, but in a way, he's something of a symbol for the nights. Many who are in the Knights now were inspired to join by Alexei's example. <laughs> One thing's clear. I don't have much in common with him. Oh no, you say? This guy's new? What is he doing? Uh, Master! Master? Princess, what are you doing in a place like this? There's something I have to talk to Flynn about, so... I heard about you slipping out of the castle. Um, um, um... Who's this? My apologies for not having introduced myself sooner. My name is Drake Dropwart. Who the crud is this guy? I've never, I don't even remember this. He was the previous Emperor's Swordmaster and is also my teacher. Ah, the Knightly Patriot Drake. The Knightly Patriot? Master Drake has served the Empire with his sweat and tears for decades. In the, in the Imperial Knights, Drake Dropwort is thought of as a model for all knights to follow. He's now an advisor to the Imperial Knights, you know. Wow, really? I'm really an advisor in name only. These days, I'm pretty much retired. My only real duty is of late is teaching the Prince's swordsmanship. But didn't you come here with the Commandant as an advisor? Yes, I've heard everything that's happened so far. How was it, setting foot into the outside world for the first time? Well, we've had a lot of bad things happen to us, but all of it's been a fantastic experience. A fantastic experience, you say? I see. Um, is something wrong? Oh my gosh, it's LeBlanc! Mr. Drake, sir! What? Whoa, whoa, it's you! Yuri Lol! Get back here! I I mean, uh, sorry, bad habit of mine. What do you want, LeBlanc? Sir, His Excellency the Commandant is calling for you, sir! Alright. Well then, Princess, I must take my leave. Try to avoid doing anything too rash, w won't you? Yes, of course. Take care of yourself, Master. I can't believe Drake Dropwart taught Estelle how to fight with a sword. I'm surprised that a princess would know how to use a sword at all, really. Estelle, what made you learn how to use a sword? That's a good question. It might take a while to tell the whole story the next time I get the chance. Yeah, I like to hear about it too, once things calm down a little. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure! What was that about? Uh, becoming Estelle. I don't even remember that scene. Estelle, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? Wait! What's the matter? Could you repeat what you just said? I said, there's something I want to ask you. No, before that! Estelle? Yes, you finally called me Estelle! I've got to go tell everyone. Oh, well... <laughs> oh my gosh, I let it slip. Whoops! Hey, you there! No loitering allowed! Now move along! Aw, I love loitering. Loitering's great. All right, so supposedly once Estelle joins back in the party, I was supposed to go do something back at Care Bakram for some kind of side quest. So I'm going to go check that out real quick and see what that's all about. So I'm going to be backtracking just a little bit real quick. I think I'm going to use the Holy Bottles to make this go a little faster. That way I'm not running into random battles for no reason. Because we all know we don't want that to happen now, do we? No, I don't think so. At least I'd like to think not. Alright, avoiding you, avoiding you, and going back over here to Karabakram. And we're gonna see what the heck this is! The fallen city of Karabakram! No! But supposedly, I'm supposed to go left. 
I don't know what's to the left exactly, but... Oh! Oh, right! Because this water had a weird circle in it before. What's up, man? Someone's here. I don't think I've ever seen this one before, actually. Traces left behind by the flow of air. But where is it flowing? That monster sucked all of it up. Monster? Yeah, that big, rough, spiky, huge monster! So, he was here after all. He? You mean the monster? Monster. It matters not what humans call them. But such a name does them a disservice. So, that wasn't a monster? Eh, oh well. Details, details. Just what makes something a monster anyway? We call any creature that viciously attacks humans a monster. So, that would mean that thing's a monster, right? Huh. But the kid just gave us the human point of view. You mean we just lump them all together as monsters, but there might be more to it? What do you think that guy was up to? We met him earlier at Dayton Hole, didn't we, Yuri? I can't figure him out. Well, whatever. He's got nothing to do with us anyway. Yeah, I guess. Apparently not. Rita's change. Honestly, that girl... Huh? Estelle. She rushes off regardless of danger. She doesn't listen when you tell her to stop. So Estelise has finally become Estelle, huh? I I've been calling her that for a while. What's with you anyway? Hey, you know... Your tone of voice was different just then. Maybe it's just my imagination. You're damn right it is. Ah, uh, there's the Rita we all know and love. Ha! Ow! How about you just <laughs> shut up? Who cares what I say or how I sound? Not me. Here's to you being you, Rita. Hmm. Get punched in the face, dang it. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, delicious punches in the face. I love it. <coughs> all right, everyone. God, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Woo! Oh boy. I think on the next exciting episode, I'll get going to Dongrest or something. I'll, I'll get back to Dayton Hold and I'll be back at Dayton Hold. I'll be back at Heliord, you know what I mean. I'm already almost back there. But I'll be back there, I'll be heading out the other end and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you all later and we'll have a nice day and enjoy the events. What do you think about that side quest? It was great, wasn't it? That was really a side quest, but that was just a random conversation. It was cool. Alright, see you later! Bye!